Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Air Displays. This week we'll be furthering our adventures in Boyfriend Dungeon, so let's get into it. Dungeon Fear Unidentified. I oh, wonder if they have classes on basket weaving. That would be cool. He's such a pretty axe, oh my goodness. Sticky stuff. Well, this is probably you. Um, what are you? Pocket is missing. What? What? No! Pocket is missing. Oh, and I found a pair of brass knuckles in my kitchen. Is this a threat? Did you take my cat hostage? The knuckles are your cat. Don't worry. The knuckles are your cat, dude. I don't know what that means. Wait, something's happening. Well, Pocket's back anyway. Sorry for the accusation. I guess he was sleeping somewhere here. Now he wants to go out. I'll watch him. So, there. He's out. And looks like he's headed for the museum. Have fun! Pocket. Scaring your owner. Oh, yeah? Oh, these two together. Mm. These three together. Okay, I have the tickets. Do you want popcorn or something? Uh-huh. Yeah, obviously. Nah, I'm good. But hey, Eric is here. Wanna join us? We're seeing Double Edged. The movie's about a wielder who sneaks into a weapons-only mafia to rescue his partner. Yeah! The reviews are pretty good for an action movie. Excellent fight choreography. I'll buy you a ticket. My treat. Sure. If there's snack, what else is playing? You threw a punch. Sure. You all head in and watch the movie together. The lead seems unusually muscular for a librarian, 
but his love for his cute baseball bat boyfriend makes you smile. A thrilling moment follows a whole arsenal chasing the wielder over rooftops and through blacksmiths. At the climax, the wielder outsmarts the mafia boss in a showdown between baseball bat and broadsword. In a scratch roll, you find yourself a sigh, a breath of relief. Love wins again, it seems. Not bad, right? I love the transformation effects. The real thing is less impressive, but it feels cool, you know? Yeah! It's like the CG stands for cool and glamorous. And they made the Mafia bus so easy to hate, like when she grabbed the Lieutenant's Hill without asking. Anyway, thanks for the invite, Seb. It was fun. Let's watch something again sometime. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. See ya! Later, Gus. Your turn to your afternoon walk. Alright, looks like I have another pocket eight. And I should have a Jonah date when I go back to... Yep, there it is. Wow. You find Pocket sitting outside the Verona Beach Museum. He's looking at you expectantly. Hey, what's up? Meow meow. Hey, what's up? He flicks his tail nonchalantly. His fur looks freshly cleaned and brushed. Would you like to offer a gift? Nope. You decide not to give a gift right now. The door opens suddenly. Pocket jumps out of the way, eyes wide with curiosity. Huh? Oh, if it isn't the elusive air it is. What luck? I wanted to discuss our next date. I will literally stab you. With a Q-tip. In your ear. Pocket is suddenly on full alert, as if someone had stepped on his tail. Thanks, man. God, stand back, air it is. I know this cat. He's a dangerous wild beast. Ugh. Eric tries to kick a pocket, but the cat sprints past into the museum. They do not allow dirty animals in places of sophistication. Um, they let you in. Well, that's not an option to say. Not your problem. You hate cats. Never hurt him. Ah! Eric flinches back from your fury. You can imagine his tail would be between his legs if he had one. You brush past him into the museum lobby. You enter just in time to see Pocket's tail disappear into the prehistoric exhibit. You follow, browsing the dinosaur bones and surreptitiously checking nooks and crannies. You find him gazing at a saber-toothed cat skeleton the size of a panther. Study the skeleton or surprise him. He will legitimately kill me if I surprise him. Study the skeleton. You take a moment to admire the skeleton's preserved ferocity from tusk to tail. The label means Smilodon Fatalis, excavated in Verona Beach, California State Fossil. Meow. Really? I didn't know that. Pocket releases a small, wheezy sigh of the This is your great grandma, sister role model. Role model. Persistent, immobilized, last longer, or scaredy. Finishers have wider arcs. There we go. Meow. Pocket's tail switches with sudden mischief. He pounces on your foot playfully. His whiskers vibrate with excitement as he turns runs as he turns from the smiley don to run out of the museum. Security guards approach, but he's already out the door and scampering down the street. You browse the rest of the exhibit before heading home. <sighs> what's up, what's up? Hey, I got a new job. Congrats. Thanks. A steady income is going to be nice. Meet me at Bravura and I'll treat you to dinner. Sure. Smiley face. Yo, what the hell happened? Pocket's acting really weird. He's more confident. He's more educated. He's more educated. Well, I wish you'd stop attacking my feet. My slippers are destroyed. Jeez. Dude, that's a mood. Jonah is sitting alone at a table, fidgeting with an app. Hi. Oh, hey, Erdis. I'm glad you could make it. This place is too fancy to be alone in. Nah, you fit right in. Too fancy for me, too. Thanks for inviting me. Too fancy for me, too, boo. Really? We can fake it together, then. And nobody needs to know. 
I can afford it tonight because this is where I work. I'm Rivera's newest employee. You're a waiter, you're a food cook, you're a chef, you're a mascot. Oh, ouch. Um, you're a chef? Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. I mean, sort of. I'm the newest sous chef. Sous means something in French. I should look that up. It means under, because you're working under a real chef, obviously. Eric? Bro? Move. Just, like, hire a moving company, put all of your stuff in a truck, and just go away. Uh... Uh, hey. Thanks. Hi, Eric. You here for dinner, too? No, I just hang out in restaurants in the evenings, inspecting their cuddlery. Yes, of course I'm here for dinner. It's a shame I don't have a date like Air to share it with. Yeah, not everyone is as great as me. Uh, it's not too late to switch tables, Manchuri. I have a free seat. I will punch you in the face. It was a joke anyway. Enjoy your meal. I recommend the Tatar. You. Do you want to join us? I'm sure the waiter won't mind. Jonah, why are you so nice? What, and be the third wheel to a jellyfish? No, thank you, Jonah. I have an image to uphold. I will seriously punch you. Eric swans deeper into the restaurant without looking back. Eric, you were so much cooler back in the day. Anyway, yeah, sous chef. I, pre I prep the ingredients for cooking. Lots of chopping and slicing and dicing. It's the prep truck. Ooh, hello. I forgot that you're a surfer. Uh, crashing wave. Enemies hit by swing have a 50% chance of being stunned. Salt in the wound. Enemies hit by swing have a 50% chance of bleeding. Uh, bleeding, I think. A second sous chef wields me. Sort of refreshing to use my weapon side for something productive. When I was a teen, my mom and I would chop firewood sometimes, but it was mostly just for fun. Honestly, nobody needs firewood in Corona Beach, but they do need chopped food. Congrats, that must feel good. Yeah. It does, actually. Thank you. I just wish the headship would lighten up a little. She gets really stressed out, like, way too much. She even insults people in the kitchen sometimes, throws things at them. Not my vibe. Anyway, what's going on with you? Any news from the Dunge front lines? Your meal arrives and you chat while you eat. The pasta is homemade and the sauce rich. You barely managed to finish your plate. Mm. Want to share a dark chocolate cake? Or the... Mm, I don't know how to pronounce this. Sure, let's get to one of everything not on for me. Sure. Jonah smiles and orders one cake with two forks. You savor the bittersweet chocolate together in all its fluffy yet crunchy ganache laden textures. Ugh, oh, that's what's up. That was perfect. I mean, I don't know if it was worth ten times my own cooking, but it was an experience. With the employee discount, it only costs nine times my cooking anyway. Cha-ching! <laughs> I guess I'll still have to go to the dungeon sometimes if I want to afford board wax. May I walk you home? It's good to walk after such a rich meal. I like that. Only as friends, no need. I like that. Cool. You wander homeward companionably, enjoying the crickets and the evening breeze. Outside your apartment, he hesitates, suddenly tense. I uh, I know Jesse mentioned we dated ages ago. Sorry. It was only for like a week. Sorry. I wish I hadn't, if it makes you feel weird. You're super different from him. Dude, we're cousins. Not like whatever it is that you're worried about. I, uh, like you a lot, and I guess you should know that. Um, so I know I've played this as, like, a Valeria playthrough, but I haven't played with any of these dudes. Kiss him. As you lean into him, you catch a scent of sea, wild, and lightly spice. Oh, look at his little hard eyes. You're wrapped in him, his chest a solid wall of warmth, the hint of dark chocolate left on his tongue. Wow, yeah. Alright, so that's really something. Night sweetness. Bye. He wanders off, a silly smile on his face. Wicked. You go upstairs and fall into bed. That was my fave dinner in ages. Yeah, I hope so. Even if I could feel my boss watching, boss watching me. 
Thanks for celebrating with me. Fingers crossed this job works out. Gotta practice my chopping and dicing, so see you in the dungeon. Wicked. Okay, Love letter still needs sugar. Tier recipe needs whatever the heck that is. Guess I'll find it in the new dungeon. Which means I should go with someone I've already leveled up. 